is the Delore Factor and I'm here with Tracy who is the owner of Face to Face Spa which is located at the Rodney Bay Marina in St Lucia. Now in a nutshell so I know you provide lots of different we do, services. Yes, yeah. What is the most popular service that people like to come for? It's still marginally massage, uh, absolutely massage and I would say probably our stress relief massage is one of the most popular. And I had That's one my of baby. Those. Yes, <laughs> yes. And that, I really, um, that came about because it's one of the things that, it was, it was in um, t talking to clients mm -hmm. but also in things that I love to do and I'm a reflexologist and so I never feel as if my massage is complete without some work on the feet. I always think that it needs to be head to toe. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of clients will ask for more time spent in the back massage because mm -hmm. obviously that's the area, the upper and the lower back, where you get a lot of stress and pain. Mm -hmm. And um, also a lot of people really like um, a scalp massage. So we put that all together. How do you deal with that when many of us have all these things glued yeah, into we our can, hair? We, we can do it, whatever, and we don't have to put oil and we don't have to mess your hair up. We can, it can still look good afterwards yes. because it's done in such a way that we move the head and we work on the neck, and, but we can use the fingertips and it doesn't have can to I be crazy. one of those? I'm serious. Absolutely. I really want... <laughs> you have to go because when I went, Faith treated me so well. I was like, oh, I didn't care if I snored. Did I snore? I don't know. I didn't care. I was so we encourage it. But the thing is, I didn't fall asleep and I, I missed it. Mm. I was just so relaxed. Absolutely. It was just amazing. There's this part of a massage that we say is a massage sleep. It's not quite asleep and it's not quite awake. Yes. It's kind of like in that middle ground and yes. that's where you get your real wonderful relaxation. Tell us some more about reflexology because I think it's a word that people hear yes. but they don't understand what Absolutely. it means. Absolutely. Yeah, quite a lot of people do foot massage but mm -hmm. reflexology is quite different. So reflexology is basically something that's gone back to Egyptian times and it, it's, it works on the premise that the um, organs and the systems of the body are represented on your feet. So if you apply specific pressure to parts of the feet, it helps your body to balance itself. So I always say as a reflexologist, I'm not, I'm just facilitating. I'm not actually um, curing anything. I'm not prescribing anything. Uh, you know, I'm not promising a cure, but what we're doing is we're allowing your body to heal itself. So if you have blockages, if you had an imbalance, if you have something that's really troubling you, whether it's insomnia, whether it's um, stress from work or um, spending too long on a computer, eye strain, any one of these things can really be helped, mm -hmm. particularly if they're stress related, mm -hmm. but muscular also. When I came to see you and you did that for me, I, it was like having peace, an inner peace, mm. and I could actually feel myself drifting away. Absolutely, yeah. But also feeling areas of tension just being drawn away, and it didn't last just for that moment. Yes. That's one of the things, the things I find with massages. For the moment, you feel really wonderful, yes. and yes, you can go away for a couple of hours. You feel that you've had a massage, and mm. it's been mm. great. But when you and I were together, and I just, for the whole day and the whole night, I just felt... Yeah, there's something very different about it. And, and, yeah. and reflexology, along with other treatments like aromatherapy, are holistic. And the idea is that it isn't just working on your body. You can say massages also, but really the complementary therapies like reflexology take it to another level. Mm -hmm. And so it's working on your body. Yes, it is helping if there's anything physically wrong, but it's also working on another level as well. So it's helping you, your mind relax, and, and it's almost like a meditation while you're doing it. And the lovely thing is, you know, your eyes are covered, you're lying on your back, you, it's only your feet that are exposed. Mm -hmm. So if anyone is un uncom uncomfortable having a massage and they don't want to undress, then the reflexology gives you all the benefits, mm -hmm. but it's distanced enough working on the feet. And I have to say that clients should not worry about us working on their feet. We do pedicures, we do feet all the time, so it's not, we actually enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So they should never feel embarrassed about coming and having a treatment like that. Um, but it really works on another level to help you relax. But you know what I find that uh, women, a lot of women, they feel uncomfortable with just coming into the spa itself. I'm sure. Um, when I talk to people, they'll say, oh, it's a treat and, a, uh, and I'm going to go, but something's stopping them yeah, sometimes. Yeah. And it's because sometimes they don't know what to expect. Exactly. So maybe could you run us through what happens when yeah. you go? Uh, well, the most important thing to us is our, is our care and our service. Mm -hmm. And from the minute the client walks through the door, that's our focus. But it's also really important that we make sure that they know that they can ask us any questions and we explain everything to them. It doesn't matter how many times somebody's been to a spa, they may not have had the same experience. The treatment may be slightly different. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And even with our regular clients, we're still readdressing it and asking, you know, how are you feeling today and what do you, what do you want to achieve from your treatment, but also how you should position yourself on the bed, what you need to take off, what you need to, you can keep on. And that is entirely up to the client to make sure that they are comfortable. They should never feel uncomfortable. When they're undressing, we step out of the room and then they undress, we show them how to drape. It's only the area of the body that we're working on that's uncovered at any one time and they can keep whatever amount of clothes that they want to on and so it, it's reassuring and the treatments are always incredibly confidential as well and that's really important that everybody realizes that that what happens in a spa is absolutely confidential it's between you and your therapist and what if you see your therapist on the street and you think oh my gosh you've seen me naked you can say hi <laughs> <laughs> but your therapist won't be thinking oh my yeah. gosh i've seen you naked yeah. that's the last thing they'll be thinking yes because they absolutely don't really not. see you naked not at all. as you say because the areas of the all. body that are worked on are the ones that are actually that's seen. the only area that's exposed and even in the way that we drape the towels and, and move the hand over the area so the client's never surprised that we're walking from one area to another and not knowing what's going to happen next mm -hmm. explaining the treatment beforehand and making sure that we talk to them after the treatment and th even the simple things like making sure that the temperature is right and that the music level is correct you know that the smell the aroma is right so all of those things work in, in tandem to make it a, a holistic experience thank you Tracy when we come back Tracy's going to tell you about a special offer to make sure you get down to her spa see you soon